Hello everyone, welcome to Topper IIS. As part of our daily series, today also we will continue with our discussion of daily current affairs which have been sourced from Hindu newspaper. Okay, so let's get started. So the first one is with respect to a database, a government has come out with a national farmers database and it has records of almost 5.5 crore farmers and government also aims to increase this number to 8 crore farmers and this will be how they are going to do they are going to link it with the state land record databases also and by that they are going to take this number to 8 crore farmers see uh, what is the importance of uh, creating databases this is very key to ensure digital technology scientific research and knowledge reaches the people okay so that's why they have been doing it and the national database was created by taking data from existing national schemes such as pm kisan we have soil health cards we have and insurance scheme like pm fasal bima Yojana also so these are the certain number of schemes which have been government running and from that they have taken data and created the database as of now and the database could be used for targeted service delivery with higher efficiency and in a focused and time bound manner so as yes, like meaning of this is nothing but ensuring you know improving the governance so for governance a better governance is one which there is uh, efficiency in the uh, uh, schemes that have been running and better targeting of the services better targeting of the beneficiaries the ghost and uh, you know fake accounts has to be eliminated so those all things will be useful if you carry out these kind of databases then already uh, companies such as you know microsoft amazon and patanjali have been asked to develop technology technological solution for the farmers using this database and as usual you always know that whenever this kind of you know digital technology issues and database is created there are concerns of privacy and also taking uh, privacy and consent of the you know farmers is also required in that case and government may authorize the usage of farmers data without their concerns so these kind of issues have been raised by the activist also so some things you should know schemes such as PM Kisan, so Pradhan Mantri Kisan Samman Nidhi. See government has launched this scheme to supplement financial needs of the farmers in procuring various inputs to ensure proper crop health and appropriate yields and commensurate with the anticipated farm income. See basically they are providing a cash transfer of up to 6000 rupees. So this 6000 rupees will be helpful to farmers how? They can use this amount to procure you know various inputs crop inputs and all the fertilizers those kind of stuff so that is why the scheme has been brought out and it is actually a central sector scheme meaning 100 percent of the funding is from the government of india the scheme is implemented by minister of agriculture and farmers welfare and the responsibility of identifying the beneficiaries purely less rest with the state or union territories remember that and soil health card also see uh, name itself he says health of the soil meaning what is the extent or amount of nutrients present in the soil so this kind of information will be given to the farmers and once the he knows or the extent of nutrients present or not present accordingly he can use the certain fertilizers to improve the soil fertility so that is the aim of soil health card scheme okay then we have Pradhan Mantri Fasal Bhima Ajna also a insurance uh, scheme so to provide insurance coverage and financial support to the farmers when in the event of failure of any notified crop so which are crops which have been notified for them insurance will be given so when the event of failure is mainly because of natural calamities pest and diseases and insurance for that to uh, farmer should be paying a premium so there will be a uniform premium of only two percent to be paid by the farmers for all Karif crops and 1.5% for all Rabi crops and 2% and 1.5% you remember that and in case of annual commercial and horticulture crops the premium to be paid by the farmers will be only 5% so for in this so remember 1.2% 1.5% and 5% the premium amount to be paid and it is an insurance scheme then next one is government must constitute GS3 Tribunal Supreme Court. See, uh, GST a law has been passed in 2016, and GST Act is already running. So, as part of this Act, there was a constitu uh, the 109 section of the GST Act mandates that there has to be a tribunal. 
so tribunal to deal with the various issues that arise because of the implementation of gst but government is yet to yet to constitute a gst tribunal so goods and service tax appellate tribunal is yet to be constituted and supreme court is now directed government to constitute gst tribunal as soon as possible so coming to gst gst is nothing but a indirect tax so tax that is levied on the goods and services direct tax on income and profits so gst is a indirect tax on supply of goods and services and it is a comprehensive so comprehensive meaning it has subsumed n number of indirect taxes that were levied earlier so still few things are not uh, under gst but most of the things are almost subsumed under gst so it is called comprehensive and it is destination based tax meaning see earlier the tax was levied at the place where it was produced at the farm at the you know suppose if it is produced in a particular state so there at the factory level only you will be levying the taxes and they have to pay it right now it is a destination based tax gst is a destination based tax meaning the you know it is collected from point of consumption and not at point of origin so point of com com meaning is see a goods map may be produced in a particular state take for you know maharashtra and if it is consumed in up so collection of tax takes place at uttar pradesh earlier the tax collection was taking place at maharashtra so this is the difference and the act tax came into effect on 1st july 2017 see remember these kind of dates can be asked in your prelims so it was actually 101 constitutional amendment act and gst replaced existing multiple taxes levied by the central and state governments so remember the simplifying the tax regime was the one of the aim of gst and thereby easing uh, process of doing business in the nation and next one is with respect to suket model see basically you know lpg collection so lpg collection uh, connection is very limited in rural area so government had come out with ujwala yojana but despite ujwala yojana also what happens is uh, you know initially they can use it but afterwards they will not be having enough money to uh, continue with the refilling of the lpgs so they will stop using it so one way of addressing a innovative way is suket model so which is in uh, being carried out in bihar see what this uh, why we need and what is this exactly see in rural areas people are not being able to refill lpg cylinders due to economic conditions so suket model allows people to get their lpg cylinders refilled in exchange for cow dung and farm and waste so waste that you generate because of agricultural activity and the cow dung you can sell this waste and then using that you will be because of that once you sell a particular amount of cow dung and all you will be provided lpg cylinder cost and connection so that is this one actually this program was even lauded by prime minister narendra modi in his man ki baat program also so obviously the benefits of this will be you know pollution free environment at home because L issues of lpg then waste disposal yes you are waste disposal uh, if you openly dump it uh, it is a environmental issue now if you are disposing it outside so that becomes a uh, important like you know that issue of waste disposal will be addressed and monetary assistance for lpg cylinders also right so that will be there then uh, availability of organic fertilizers to local farmers nothing but you know uh, from waste you are creating a manure vermicompost then that will be provided as a fertilizers to local farmers also so these are the benefits of the program use these kind of programs uh, you know in your answers writing also models and this model is actually an initiative of dr rajendra prasad central agricultural university at pusa in samaspur district and it is a brain child of vice chancellor ramesh chandra srivastav a uh, basically a vermi compost enthusiast so basically vermi compost or worm compost is process of using earth worms to break down kitchen and garden waste okay and to create faster than normal composting so same thing a worm composting you should know breakdown of the materials using earthworms then next one is with respect to manda buffalo gets unique breed tag see national bureau of animal genetic resource is there so this is a organization which you know undertakes the responsibility of evaluating certifying and conserving rich and varied germ plasm resources available in the country whose genetic basis, base is shrinking fast see certain unique breeds are there so rich and varied germplasm germplasm is nothing but a kind of you know genes collection of genes 
so different breeds are there so certain unique breeds will be there you need to conserve them so you need to certify them and all this stuff so that that is the work of national bureau of animal genetic resources organization so this organization has now identified recognized manda buffalo found in eastern ghats and the plateau of koropath region of odisha as the 19th unique breed of buffaloes found in india so unique breed of buffalo manda buffalo where you are finding in eastern ghats and plateau of koropath region of odisha there you are going to find so what is the unique thing about this breed is like it is resistant to parasitic infection less prone to diseases and even can thrive on modest resources also so that is a peculiar trait of this breed remember this and coming to this national bureau of animal genetic resources it is actually uh, located in the campus of national dairy research institute karnal haryana remember all this stuff so that's it for today you can also download the pdf of this document in the link that is shared below and do download topper eyes institute app so that you get access to a number of these videos which will be helpful in your upsc preparation so that's it thank you